Hey y'all, APGG here. And today we have a live show, fourth Sunday hop, as arranged by the Mary Alfier. And um, it is, uh, I, now I'm going to stumble over myself. For heaven's sakes, bless my heart early, y'all. Um, it's a, I want to, type of art thing and today I want to do some uh, serendipity paper and I'm I am hello 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 Carrie Beth Dora Peggy Sharon Cheryl and everyone else lurkers Debbie Nicole Deborah Miss TT Lori I think I said Lori Lori again Julie Nancy Crystal Eileen, Angie, Carla, <laughs> Mary, Francis, Barbara, I already said Dora, Dora, Sheila, <laughs> I'm so glad everyone's here. Thanks y'all so much for coming along on this, uh, our first of the fourth Sunday live hops, and we're really glad everyone is here. Thank you so much. <laughs> So I want to make some serendipity paper. Let me let me move me out of the way because it will never, I never get old for me. And we know that's the important part. So you want to gather up um, scrap papers. They can be torn. They can be straight edge. Hey, Jersey. What, whatever kind of scrap papers you got. Hi, Linda. And uh, this is being filmed before a, a live internet audience, y'all. And I'm going to be using um, deli paper as my substrate. And this is the deli paper I have used, and I love it. I get it from Sam's, and there's like a thousand, does it say on here? Yeah, a thousand, a thousand sheets, y'all. That's just a little bit of paper, guys. Guys. Hey, Patty. Malia. Beth. And if I miss you, I apologize. Vanessa, Candy, I am not ignoring you. Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. It's just I had kind of a hard time uh, seeing chat from right here. Now, I'm going to give you some tips. Maybe they're tips. Maybe it's old news, but that's just how it's going to roll. Okay, y'all? Hey, Peggy. So, journey. Anyways, when you start and you're going to do anything acrylic, medium-based, or glue-based, okay, whether it's a gel or a liquid or whatever, you want to start with a damp brush. That's where you just kind of dip it in your water and you... It, you, you mostly dry it off, okay? Mostly dry it off. Crafting on a budget. Anyways, um, so it, it actually helps keep some of that uh, acrylic medium from sticking really hard and fast to uh, the bristles. So anyway, I've got me some scraps. I'm going to go on a base. Hey, Janet and Ash, Keisha. Some people actually just glue pieces together, and you may certainly do that. In fact, let's just do this one because I said so. Just like that, and you can just do that. You do not have to have a substrate at all. You do not have to have torn papers. You can uh, use straight edge papers like these. These are uh, tie-dyed uh, um deli paper with uh, alcohol inks and they're it's really fun too y'all and you can start in the center uh, it is mostly recommended that you put your fluid matte medium I'm using fluid matte medium y'all on your substrate and on the back of the piece you're going to stick on there um, you don't have to but it does kind of help with some bubbles because in this uh, project, you do end up kind of with some, kind of with some bubbles. Um, let's say you wanted to start on the edge of the page. Okay, you can do that. Because, you know, all things mixed media doesn't actually have 
hard, fast rules, y'all. Just saying, not really. Sort of, but not. Y'all know how that goes? No rules except for this or that. I need a baby wipe already. Normally, I'm, I'm really, uh, I won't say slow, but I do projects that do take a little bit of time. Uh, when I'm on uh, live on the third Thursdays of the month, those tend to go on for a couple hours or maybe longer even. But that's, that's usually about all, just usually a couple hours. We do uh, journal pages on those. But that's not what we're doing today. Today we're going to make some serendipity paper. And that's just where you have a lot of scraps that you put together and you end up with something that's beautiful. And there are many, 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 many. Hey, Amy, Janice, Nana, Branson, Debbie. I know I probably already said hi to some of y'all, but y'all may get it like five times, okay? I'm having short-term issues today. Well, not really, but makes for a good excuse, doesn't it? Right? Right? Of course it does. And this is essentially all you do. Now, you have some napkin, you say? You have some napkin scraps? Okay. We can do that. We'll just tear that out. Now, this, the, uh, the, the white backing has already been separated. I'm going to show you that. I got this big piece right here. Napkins tend to come with white backing. One or maybe even two layers. The older the napkin, they tend to, to be the easier it comes separate. You want to remove these. I promise you do. There's nothing more embarrassing than have your top layer of napkin peeling away from your inner inner side that you should have removed. Okay, it makes your piece look funny when it's on the wall. Didn't happen to me, but it happened to somebody I know. So anyway, napkin. Napkin, you don't want a matte medium on the back before you stick it down. You just want to stick it down. And you want a fairly juicy brush. And a very, very light hand. And as you can maybe tell, I'm kind of going from the middle, working myself out. Napkins, uh, part of their nature is to wrinkle. So if wrinkles bother you, don't use a napkin. Okay? Okay. So let's stick this napkin piece up here. And I, am, I tend to be a non-directional person. There's nothing wrong with working in a specific direction. Meaning my stuff will go every which way because, um, hey, Terry, I don't know if I want to use the piece of paper this way. Maybe I want to use it this way. Maybe I want to use it like this. And if I use, if I go start off in a non-directional format, chances are I should be able to use um, in whatever direction I want to go in, okay? So we're just going to do this. We're not doing this whole thing tonight because we don't have that kind of time, y'all. Mary is stingy with her time. Not really, but. 30 minutes. That's about all I got, y'all. And uh, the reason for that is because we have lots of people joining us on this hop, fourth Sunday hop. And they're all be doing, I think everyone's doing something different. So there's lots of fun there. And um, let me, where's my list? Let me see if I can tell who's going to be up next. I don't have the link, so hopefully somebody can post it in chat for me. After me, it's going to, oh, it's going to be Malia. Lovely Malia. And you can do, um, you know, if you're one of those people that likes to do more than one project.